welcome back. This is Debbie. I hope that you're doing great. Just want to get myself all comfortable here. I am a part of a group on Facebook that is called Ladies Who Collab. And today is my first video for that group. It is our most purchased beauty products or most repurchased beauty products. I have quite a few things here, so let me get started so that I can show you what I like to use and what I've been purchasing over and over again. First thing I want to talk about is the Batiste Dry Shampoo. I love this product. This is a great product to just refresh your scalp if you have washed your hair and let's say you go out and do a few errands and you're coming back in, getting ready to go to dinner or movie or whatever, and you just want to kind of zhuzh up your hair, make it look a little better, spray this in the roots, kind of go like that, comb it back, brush it back down, and your hair is going to look great and your scalp is going to feel nice and cool and refreshed. Another thing to do with this shampoo is to use it on your second or third day where you're not washing your hair, but you just want to refresh your scalp and feel like you just freshly shampooed pooed it. Sorry, but my words are getting stuck, but I will get through this video. I like to use this regular original um, flit scent. It does have a little bit of a powdery, like white cast, but I just kind of push it more into my um, roots and it disappears. It's a great, great product. I've purchased many of them. And you can find these at TJ Maxx for like, I think, $5.99. And they also sell little bottles over at Walgreens. And I think um, you can probably look online. If you're traveling and you want to buy a little can, put it in your purse to refresh your hair, your scalp, great product. Okay, the next thing I'm going to talk about is a scent that I really love and I've used for many years. I think, in fact, I've used this since it first came out. This is the Bath & Body Works Japanese Cherry Blossom. It is a beautiful scent. Now, I don't know the notes, but I can tell you that I have, um, I'm very sensitive to scents. I have very pretty bad asthma and I have COPD and I can wear this and I have no problems with my breathing. I also get a lot of compliments when I wear it. At least one or two people will just pass me by and say, oh, you smell really good. And that's always a nice uh, little thing to kind of make your day. So um, like I said, Japanese Cherry Blossom and it's from Bath & Body Works. Great, great product. And a lot of times you can get those on sale and they send coupons and you can always get them at a really good price. Okay, let's get on to skincare. There is a brand of skincare that I really like and I use quite a lot of their products and that's the CeraVe products. I use the CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion and now all of the products that I use are for normal to dry skin. Um, they do make products for oily skin. Um, I don't have really oily skin so I couldn't tell you how those work, but these work terrific. Now I use this for all over my body. I also will use this for my face and it doesn't bother me. Now in specific for my face, I like to use these. This is the AM uh, Moisturizing Lotion and it has an SPF of 30. I have, a, like I said, my skin is very sensitive and a lot of SPFs make me break out or sometimes give me like a little allergic reaction, like a little rash, rash. But this one, I use it every day, doesn't bother my skin. I have some on now, I love it. And it has a nice moisturizing factor too. Now it does go on white, um, like most of the, mo the SPFs do, but it doesn't have that, you know, uh, you're on the beach type of smell. It's just fresh and clean. And this one I use before I go to bed or when I'm getting my skin ready for the night. It's the PM one. And this one has a lot of good ingredients too. I think it has, um, it has ceramides. Uh, let me put my readers on, where are they? Then I can read it for you. Okay, let's see. This is made with ceramides, niacin, and hyaluronic acid. And hyaluronic acid is a really good ingredient. It helps to bring moisture back in your face, and it helps to kind of plump your face and give you that look of a uh, youthful look uh, that some of us kind of lose as we get older. Really nice, nice product. And the last survey product that I'll talk about is the eye cream. And this is just the eye repair cream. Now this, ooh, upside down, whoop, butter fingers. 
this cream doesn't take away the wrinkles. I'm not going to tell you that the lines go away from this. You would have to get fillers or something cosmetically done. Um, I don't believe there's any cream out there that's going to take away any fine lines or wrinkles that you have. It'll just help your skin to maybe plump it up, uh, helps to moisturize. Uh, I like to put this under my eye. I put it on top of the my lid too. Uh, I use this morning and night and I really, really like it. In fact, I notice a difference when I don't use it. When I don't use it, my eyes just feel a little drier and it's sort of hard to put in put on my uh, concealers and blend them very nice very very nice and it's not a heavy heavy cream either as a lot of eye creams can be real thick and that one is a lotion goes on so smoothly love it there's a product that i discovered oh maybe about two years ago and i've repurchased this over and over again and my skin would not be the same without it that is the prosacea medical medicated excuse me rosacea gel and this just does the trick for my rosacea my face can look like that and i put this on every night especially the nights where my rosacea is really acting up when i wake up in the morning i don't have any redness and the little white bumps that i get along with my rosacea they are gone or really down and you can't feel them you can't see them comes in a tube like this. Ooh, I am just keeping everything upside down today. Comes in a tube like that. And the main ingredient for this is, um, I'm gonna make sure I say it right. It's sulfur. So if you have an allergy to sulfur, please do not use this because you probably will have a reaction. Um, other than that, I highly recommend this if you have rosacea. This even works if you have acne. Just put it on the areas that you are affected by. Don't put it all over your face because your face will get real dry and you don't want that. Okay, uh, let's see. Another skincare product is this micellular water. I never know where to hold it when I use my phone. And it's by Garnier, and I really like this. I have, this is probably about my fourth bottle that I've purchased. I love this to take off my eye makeup. It's very gentle. It doesn't leave like a little, like any greasy residue, like some eye makeup remov removers will. <clears throat> Excuse me, my mouth is, my throat is drying up. It's very uh, gentle on the skin, yet it will remove um, even face makeup. It's very nice. Another way that I like to use this on days when I don't wear makeup, but I may be doing th some things around the house and I just want like a refresher, but I don't really want to wash my face and dry it, is I just take a cotton pad and I put a little bit on this and I go all over my face. I let it just dry, air dry, and it just perks me up. I feel like my face is clean. It removes oils and dirt that get in your, dirt that gets in your skin. It's really a nice product, and it's at a nice affordable price. You can buy this at basically any drugstore. I would like to say that there is one that they specifically make for um, sensitive skin, but this one on the bottom with the pink label, it says all skin types, even sensitive. So this is the one I've used from the beginning. And I really like and you can tell that I've used a lot of this all right uh, another skincare is this product by posh this is the BFF which stands for best face forever this is a daily um, exfoliating wash I love to use this in the shower when my face will get like a little dry or I get little dry patches above my eyebrow I will wash my face in the morning with this while I'm in the shower and it has a really nice mint scent the little exfoliating um, let's say beads they are not made of anything artificial they are I believe like um, made of sugar so they will dissolve in the water and they're not it's not bad for your, the atmosphere um i have done a full review review on this if you'd like to check it out um please do so okay uh one more skincare and i'll get on with a few little makeup products and then we'll be done okay this first product i used to use a lot when i wanted to take maybe a nice blue um, eyeshadow and turn it into an eyeliner i would just take a liner brush spray some of that on that dip it into the shadow and line my eyes and that would last for hours hours and hours I would have to 
take it off at the end of the day. That, that works to make such a great liner. I mean, I can't emphasize that enough. But recently, I'm kind of approaching those years where, you know, I'm mature, I'm 52 now, and I'm starting to get hot flashes. That might be a TMI, but ladies, Go get yourself a bottle of this if you have wicked hot flashes. Because once you have that hot flash, you just feel gross. I take this and I spray this on my face, and boy, I feel good again. And you can use this right over your makeup. You can use this if maybe you've gotten a little heavy-handed with your powder and you're looking a little cakey, put this on there, and boy... You know, I sound like a commercial, but I really love this product. This is probably about my sixth bottle that I've purchased. About two, maybe three years ago, they reformulated it, but I don't notice any difference. I've been using it for so long. It's To me, it seems the same. The one thing that it doesn't do is that it doesn't set your makeup, meaning it doesn't make your makeup last longer. It's just a really good product to do so many things. And... I always make sure that I keep a bottle of this on my vanity and when I go out, in my purse. Okay, makeup, makeup, makeup. A uh, makeup tool that I love are the beauty blenders. Some people think that $20 is a lot to spend for a sponge, and it might be. But I notice a big difference when I use a beauty blender to blend in my makeup or to put on my foundation I should say today I did uh, used a beauty blender that I had to be cleaned I have three of them I just keep a couple in rotation and I wash them after I use them I don't ever use the use a dirty one because then you're just kind of putting that bacteria on your face and next morning you're gonna wake up and you're gonna have a little zit and that's not fun so I would highly recommending investing in a beauty blender I just love them and now I've used some of the like knockoffs I don't enjoy them as much as the regular just gotta arrange myself here I, I the beauty blender is just it's wonderful okay a foundation that I have purchased since the very beginning of that it was released is the unique I can hold it there the unique mineral touch foundation right now I have this in velour and in fact I think it's tomorrow there's another color that's going to be coming that's one more darker because this is a little light for me right now this is a foundation that you shake up and it's very liquidy it comes with one of these little um, like droppers you can put a couple drops on your the back of your hand or a palette or right on your face, blend it in, and you will really love this. This You don't need a lot for this uh, to give it a nice, good coverage. And in fact, it just amazes me how I'll put a bunch of little dots and I start blending with the Beauty Blender. And boy, the redness is gone and well, covered up. And little, you know, marks or whatever, they're covered up. And I just... I just can't believe how well that this product works. It would seem like something like this wouldn't be good for somebody that is more of a mature person or, well, not mature person, but mature skin, but it's great for me. And if you have any sensitivities to products, this product doesn't bother me at all. Now, I will say that it dries to kind of like a demi mat. So if you do have dry skin, I would just suggest that you put just a little bit more of a moisturizer. And I do believe that you can use this. And also Unique does have a money back guarantee. You can send it back. I will put um, the link to my presenter in the information section in case you're interested in trying it. Another product, and it's also by Unique, this is not a commercial for anything, these are products that I love, is the Glorious Face Primer. I have purchased this several times. I just love this product. It's the best primer for me. I love it because it has that silicone feeling and people kind of get afraid when they hear that, but when you use primers that have the silicone feeling, they smooth out the skin. So if you have skin like mine that may be a little textured from may, maybe be a little acne scarring, or as for me, I get a rash, um, it's called a malar rash from having lupus, and it will leave little raised areas. This smooths out my face, and I just love it. And it really extends the length of my makeup, you can use it as an eye primer. And also, um, there was one more thing I was gonna say about this. Oh yes, in a pinch, you can use, like if you have a little left on your hand, use it on the ends of your hair, and it's a great conditioner. 
Really, really nice product. Okay, a couple more things and we'll be done. Another product that I discovered just walking in Sephora, picked it up, and uh, I have not stopped buying it. That is the Cary Gran Lip Whip. This is Whip, right? Yeah, <laughs> Lip Whip. This is a wonderful product. It's all natural. It's kind of like a Vaseline texture, but so much better than Vaseline. I love the fact that they put the date on the bottom. Now that's when the product will um, expire. So you can just turn it around, no, okay, can't use it, toss it, go get yourself another one. Now just a recommendation, um, I bought this in the store in the little area where they have all the little goodies like with that you have to pick up, you know, one or two, but they don't always have it in the Sephora's that I go to, but they have it online on their website. And there's two different flavors that it comes with, comes in. And I buy, um, it's something mint, and I really like it. I have it underneath my lipstick today. It just conditions my lips. I put it all over my lips before I go to sleep, and I absolutely love it. Okay, I'm just checking something, sorry. Um... I always wear polish on my toenails. I don't always wear it on my hands, but when I do, I like to just put the polish put the polish on and put a nice coat that will dry it and you know, off I go. I, I hate wait, waiting for polish to dry and I don't like using products that say that they'll dry and then you get like a little smudge. It just annoys me. I found this in CVS one day and I really love it. It is the IMN, so INM, maybe, Out the Door and it's America's number one super drying top coat for nails. I did that without wearing my readers. Yay! <laughs> this is great. I love it. It doesn't have like an obnoxious scent like another quite famous uh, top coat drying thing that is really good, but it the fumes from it are horrible. This one doesn't have that. It does a great job. Love it. I've purchased maybe about four of these. Can't say enough. Okay, a couple of makeup products and we're done. Hoola Bronzer. This is my absolute favorite bronzer. I love it because it's matte. It takes a long time to go through these boxes. I've used it for a number of years. It's a nice color if you have a skin tone like mine that is um, like fair to light. I'm like light and um, I can get to medium sometimes if I'm in the sun, which I'm really not supposed to be. That's another story. Um, even medium skin tone, it makes for a nice light bronzer. Now, if you have a darker skin tone, you could use this as an eyeshadow. I've used it many times in the crease of my eye and put a little liner, mascara, and off I went. Love, love this product. And I like the little box that they come in. Okay, an eyeliner that I just love so much. It is the Physician's Formula, and it's called Eye Booster. It says that it's supposed to make your eyelashes uh, thicker and fuller, but I will be totally honest, I've never noticed that in the years that I've used this. But what I have noticed that, I love the tip of this, make sure you can see. It does a really nice line. This is in the color brown, and you can make it thicker if you want. Sorry, that it's not really straight, but... I like the color. I love that this lasts. It doesn't smudge. I don't have to worry about, you know, is it smudging down? Is it, you know, moving around? It just stays. And it's got that little shaker thing. You shake it and put it on your eye or the top line. Um, I don't know about the bottom lash line, but you can try it if you want. I like to use this for my top. Wonderful. Okay, two concealers that I really love and I have used many, purchased many times. One is the Maybelline, and this is the, um, I forget what it's called. I forget what it's called, but I'll put the name down below. Uh, I use this in the Radiant. I like to do like the triangle thing and then blend it in with my Beauty Blender. And the next one that I like to use right on the dark line, in fact, I have it on today. This is a MAC one, and I need readers to tell you which one this is. And you might think that this is kind of a light, dark color, but for the very dark 
creases or lines i like to use a shade that's either my shade from my skin or maybe a little bit darker because then it really covers that line it doesn't highlight it this is the mineralized concealer and the color that i use it in is nw25 and that's about um i'm about an nc2025 so it's a little bit darker than my complexion but like i said it i still have the line there that there's nothing that's going to take that away and i'm not looking in the right spot but i'm trying to show you um but it takes away that real darkness that i get over there really like it and if i have a lot of darkness all over the under eye i just kind of put a few lines there and blend it in great great concealer so i hope that you have enjoyed my first collab with the ladies who collab facebook group as i said in the beginning i will put their link down below i'm sorry that i rushed through this but i still did this like in 20 minutes so sorry that it's such a long video but i had a lot of great products to show you um if you have any questions or comments please uh, put them down below and I will get back to you. Um, I don't think I have anything else that I wanted to mention. I hope that you have a great morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever time of day that you're watching this. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.